today, it's, it's, it's a, an eclectic sounding rock. It's changed a lot because originally it was, it was two keyboard players, a drum machine, and myself. And uh, it was a techno band, it was an electronic band. It was kind of odd. People thought it was a little quirky. A little quirky, right. And uh, it's changed a lot. Then we added uh, Kent, I think, and, and, and then Bart Mitchell, who, who played guitar. And then Greg Gizzy, the drummer, who's refuses to be on camera this evening. And then uh, Cage came, and, and so now it's a five-piece, and a lot of and uh, it's heavier. It's heavier. Nineteen, uh, what was it, 1986 or something, we made that Mayday video. Steve Collins was one of the original members of the band. He was a keyboard player, kind of a crazy guy, video guy. He worked at the film company in Buffalo here, and he was able to swing us a deal. We made the Mayday video at uh, Sherwin Greenberg Films. And uh, it got played on MTV uh, on their basement tape show. And then Night Flight 2, right, it got played on Night So it got some national airplay, which was cool. A few years later, we made the album Flash, and we made the video for a Similar Crisis. As the blows. It was probably the most extensive thing we've ever done in the studio. It was probably the most grandiose thing. I, I recently read all the reviews of it, and they all keep coming back to grandiose and, and, and uh, uh, full. And In some ways, it didn't capture the energy that we have as a live band. And then recently, we put out a live tape to sort of capture some of that energy. And that's called? Uh, that's called uh, the Perpetual Failing Machine. <laughs> Buffalo's a great, probably a great place to do what you want to do if you know what you want to do, if that makes any sense. In other words, if you know you want to play music, or you know you want to paint canvases, or as an artist, or if you know you want to be an actor, it's a great place to do this because there's, there's a venue for it. There are other people doing it also along with you. You're not alone. The only thing is you may have to reach a point where you move beyond Buffalo. I feel very comfortable being here, and I would certainly like to, you know, help make a name for Buffalo by being successful. And I would, I would think most artists or musicians or whomever, you know, would like to help the city's image by doing well. And, and helping the city do well in, in return. It's very, very hard to do that on your own. It can be done, but it takes, you know, an unbelievable effort, and that's why there's so few bands that actually, you know, make it through effort. Uh, eventually, you've got to have somebody with the butts behind you to, to support the band, and, uh, and, and of course, we're talking about a record label here. The future in Allstott, uh we just made that disc. I, I think we're going to do some different things now. I think, I think we're interested in sort of changing the direction of the band, experimenting further. Success will come with faith and perseverance, but I just want to have a good time doing it and everything else will fall into its own place.